As a self-proclaimed prophet rains hell upon his family, those who don't bow down are forced to serve in ultimate penance. A man's obsession takes an unholy turn when he unleashes his inner demon on the unsuspecting women of his community. No, they'll need some divine intervention if they're to find him. And their prayers are answered when just two months later, a letter, presumably from the killer, lands on their desks. It was an anonymous letter that said that the person who committed the rapes in Philadelphia is the same person who has committed rapes in the Fort Collins area. God decides to forgive those who are remorseful for those for their sins, who believe and accept and confess and have a truly contrite heart and then go and sin no more. Working together to follow the lead, police in Philly compare their DNA to the samples collected by their Fort Collins counterparts. Hi, this is uh, Detective James in Philadelphia. And when it's a match, detectives work feverishly to identify their mystery man. Why not now narrow down the search of people who lived in Philadelphia, then check